Good evening. I'm uh, just got this in the mail. Uh, UB size. It's their new 67 inch um, tripod. I'm really excited about checking this out, doing this review, uh, looking at a new product. Uh, the tripod comes with the travel bag. Uh, it has a Bluetooth remote and a cell phone holder. So let's get moving and uh, take this out of the bag and start looking it over. First of all, the bag, I like the bag. It uh, seems to be a good quality of uh, canvas or nylon or whatever, but it seems to be pretty strong. I like the strap, you can throw that over your shoulder. So let's take the tripod out. <clears throat> and here we go. Nice. In the bag, there's a professional video tripod user's manual. Comes with it. I'm sure that shows you all the, uh, the ins and outs of setting it up and adjusting it, putting the camera on, so on and so forth. <clears throat> um, the one thing about doing reviews on camera equipment and try whether it's tripods, flash units, cameras, whatever, it's nice if you have a background in the particular device you're doing a review on, so you know what to look for. Uh, you know the items that are important, the parts of the of the piece that are important to the the purchaser, and. Uh, I've gone. I've had several, multiple tripods, and I've been doing photography for many years now. So, <clears throat> this to me is another one of those pieces of uh, camera equipment, uh, photography equipment, that uh, I'm doing a review on, and we'll see how it goes. So far, I like, I like the construction. It seems like a pretty durable. Uh, durable tripod. The legs are solid. It also has foam grips on all three on all three of the legs. The foam grips are nice. They're nice for carrying. Um, so if it's cold, if you're outside in the winter, uh, the actual metal part of the legs will get cold, but the uh, foam grips they shouldn't get as cold as the metal does. It'd be easier and nicer to be able to carry it around. Um, the head, swivel head with the arm, uh, you can see that this swivels up and down, very smooth. Uh, you lock it in place. You also have your side, side mount um, locking, locking knob that, uh, for your 360 degree turn. This spins all the way around, you can lock that in place with this knob right here. And then you have another side knob, which controls the, let's move the arm here a little bit that way. There's another knob that loosens up the handle for raising and lowering uh, the height on the tripod. Uh, that's just an added, the raise and lower is an added, uh, a, it's an added feature of the tripod for when you actually open the legs up and expand the height of the tripod, you can kind of zero in the height you want with this arm here after you get the legs open to the to the dimensions that you need. Um, what I like about this is each one of the legs has got four quick tabs that snap open in the open position so you can extend the legs out. Um, every time you extend the leg to its full extension, you're adding about 10 inches to the height of the tripod. So when you start off, the height is about 26 inches. And as you open the legs up, you go from 26 to 36 to 46 inches, 56.6 inches, and then up to the 67 inch maximum height. Um, and I can show you, since I'm doing this review on a tabletop, I'm kind of limited on the height. So you wouldn't actually see it if I opened this up all the way, but this is one extension, you lock it in place. There's another one, snap the knob out, you lock that in place. Another one here, the leg gets longer, you lock that in place. And the final one here, 
at the bottom, takes that leg out all the way, you can lock that in place. So it's nice because they're quick. It's quick to unlock, move the legs in, lock them back in position. And there you go. <clears throat> now another, another benefit on this, this tripod here is these mounts, the foot mounts on the tripod are actually swivels. They will swivel and automatically level themselves, set themselves up to the ground that you put your tripod on. So all three legs have the swivel knobs, uh, swivel feet on the ends. It's a handy little device as well. Now there's also, in the middle of the tripod, at the very bottom here, there's a hook. You can see the hook right here. Purpose for that hook is if you're setting your tripod up outside and you're in an area Maybe you have an area with rocks or it's windy outside and you feel that you might have a little stability issue. You can always hang a backpack with weights or you can actually hang a, some type of a weight from this hook, which will give you extra reinforcement for holding the tripod in place so it won't tip over easily. Um, but that's only in situations where if you're putting the tripod in an area where you're not really stable to begin with the extra the hook on the bottom for putting the extra weight on will definitely help secure your tripod now the i like the top the attachment to the top is a uh let me open this other bag that came with it and this has the the top uh, mounting plate it has the mounting plate for the cell phone if you want to use your cell phone instead of a camera and it comes with the Bluetooth uh, remote control, which is another handy little feature. Uh, what I like about the mounting plate is it's quick release, so it goes on fast, comes off fast. It's great for changeovers. You can go from a camera to your cell phone, um, whatever you want, uh, back and forth, and it's, it's pretty quick. There's a little lever here on the top. This lever is for your quick release. You can put your mounting plate in, you let the lever go, it's locked in place. And it's, it's very stable once it's locked in. You want to take it out, you pull the lever, and you just take the plate back out. It comes out very easily. Um, I'm going to mount the cell phone holder to this plate and show you how easy it is. If you look at the bottom of the plate, you can see there is a metal, uh, almost like a hooked area here that swings out to use it as a screw to turn the screw for mounting your cell phone holder on. So you just you screw that down very easily. And then uh, come back up here, flip the lever, drop it in place. That's locked in. <clears throat> now you want to put a cell phone in there. Let me show you how quick this is for mounting your cell phone. You just turn this knob on the top and it opens the, I want to say teeth, but it opens the, the uh, clamping device up wider so you can fit virtually any cell phone. Uh, this cell phone has a, it's a uh, iPhone 11. It has a case on it and you can see on the back of the case there's another little piece on this particular case for it's kind of like a stand for the cell phone but it'll take this entire cell phone and you can lock it right into this into the device here but once that's locked in everything else is in there that phone is in there that's stable that phone is not going anywhere it's not going to fall out um, it's in there very good so the phone's mounted. Well, what do you want to do? It's in a horizontal position. You want to move it to a vertical position. You can. There's a couple different ways to do it. You can loosen the knob on the back and actually turn the fixture, the entire fixture that's holding the phone, into a vertical position. If you want to, there's another way you can do this. Um, let's put it back to where it was. You can loosen a knob here on the side which will take the whole headpiece and turn it into a vertical position. So there's a couple different ways that uh, 
that you can do this, that you can work with this tripod, which is very convenient. So we'll lock that back down. Um, as far as the build, I like the build of this tripod. It's solid. It is very easy to work as far as the tightening, loosening knobs, controls, the arm, um, ability to tilt this up and down, uh, spin it 360 degrees, uh, all the way around, whatever you want to do. It is very versatile to use out in the field. It's very light, which is another handy feature. So you're not carrying a real heavy uh, metal tripod around. It's easy to uh, throw it over your shoulder, take it when you go hiking, whatever. Uh, you're not gonna get worn out carrying a heavy piece of equipment around for your cell phone or for your 35 millimeter camera. Um, and like I said, you can also mount your camera, your 35 millimeter camera, it has a standard mounting screw on the uh, the headpiece, so it's uh, it's great for just about any 35 millimeter camera that you want to mount to the to the tripod. Let's put that back up there, lock it in. Um, I think that's about it. Once again, it's the UB size, 67 inch. Professional video tripod, and it's a great build. And uh, for the price, it's a fantastic price. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune to get yourself a nice tripod that's going to be uh, have the versatility that this one has, and have all of the height. It's got all the height you need, up to 67 inches tall. Um, it's compact. When you put it all down, put the legs all in. And uh, you pack this this little unit up. Um, everything goes back in the bag. Oh, and one another feature I wanted to point out with this, which is really cool, is there is a small bubble right here in this green area. The bubble is a leveling device. So when the tripod's out and you've got the legs extended, you can always check the level and you can adjust the level. Um, you, you adjust the level by adjusting your your legs, the height of your legs. If it's off balance a little bit, you can pull up one leg just a little bit, lock it in place. Uh, you can do another leg. Just move the legs and adjust them until your level is right. There's a round circle and the, there's a bubble in there. And when that bubble is in the middle of that round circle, that means your tripod is level and you're ready to shoot for landscape photos, it makes sure that you're in a nice flat level area uh, when you get when you take your pictures, your landscape photos. So that's another handy, a uh, nice uh, handy little feature to have is that little level right there on the tripod. Once again, it's quick. It's quick to put up. It's quick to take down. It's quick to change over from a cell phone to a 35 millimeter camera, and it's lightweight. Uh, so you know we're looking at fit form and function and I would rate this tripod uh, five stars I think it's a great deal and I think it's a, uh, a really nice addition to any photographers equipment bag uh, to have one of these so I will probably put on a couple more photos showing the tripod at its full extension so you can see the height that this comes out to but for now uh, I think I'm all set with this review. It's a great product, and I would advise uh, if you're in the market for a tripod, definitely check out the UB size 67 inch professional video tripod. For now, I think uh, I'm going to say have a good evening and stay safe and enjoy your photography.